In this video, we're going to be using Turtle Ship Line and the Mula R41 Twist. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it and it's been a long time since we've used Turtle Ship, probably some years and I remember it being pretty decent and we shall put it to the test today. This is Turtle Ship Lime and it's got a nice lime scent. Um, just your standard lime to my nose. I would call it, and let's put up our scent strength chart, in the realm of low scent Skeletor. It's not super strongly scented, probably lightly scented type of scent that Nate would probably <laughs> like. It does have a nice pleasant lime scent though. The consistency on it is pretty firm, so it's not soft or goopy. I really like that. And the price for this is $16 for four ounces or on our cost chart, $4 an ounce, which is a fair price, but it is firm. So you might eke a little more value out of it. I'll put the ingredients for you right there on the screen. This is a tallow base soap and I do remember it being uh, quite decent. So we'll put that to the test today. The razor for today is the Mula R41 twist. And they call it the twist because you unscrew the bottom like so and the top comes off once I get it unscrewed all the way, that is. There we go. Well, still unscrewed. <laughs> Takes a bit to get it unscrewed. Anyway, two-piece razor. And there is our blade today, which is Gillette Nasset. And you put it on the same way. Simply put it in there and screw it down. And that's really all there is to it. Two-piece razor. I like two-piece razors. You don't see a ton, ton of them, but nice razor. This runs about 60 bucks on Amazon. You might be able to get it cheaper other places. I'm not sure, but nice, efficient razor. Um, I don't think it's the most efficient razor in the world, um, like its reputation uh, would seem to indicate, but it is efficient, no doubt about that. So let's get into to it today. But before we do, I cannot resist. Since this is a lime scent, we're going to take a shot of Seaforth Spiced Lime EDP. Two shots and just get the scent going. Oh, yeah. Hoo, hoo, hoo. I love that. That, that that lime is so different from any other lime. Like this lime is nice. That one is like awesome. I just love it. Anyway, let's get into it today. Let's miss the, the face. All oh, that scent just wafting around. I love it. Still my favorite scent of 2021. <laughs> and I stand by it. All right, let's go. There is our lather and we have reasonably good creamy lather. I do believe there we go. Paints on rather nicely. No problem whatsoever. Blooping a little bit. No problem with that either. Let me get a nice shave in today. We're going to wear our, obviously the, the aftershave is going to be Seaforth Sea Spice Lime as well. And uh, we'll have a nice day in the office today with the Sea Spice Lime. Terrific stuff. Man, that scent is just wonderful. And the scent on the, on the turtle ship here, again, is just a sort of a, a, a nice standard lime. Fresh, you know, not what you would expect for a lime scent. The Seaforth, to me, though, is different. I don't think everyone gets out of Seaforth what I get out of it, which it has depth to it that other limes simply do not have. Some people have described it as 7-Up, and I can see that in part, but it's much more than that. Um, to my nose, I get a lot more out of it. Anyway, here we go. We've got plenty of, plenty of lather there, and let's get into it. Brush for today, by the way, is the uh, turn and shave with the cashmere knot. The bowl is our daily driving Captain's Choice Copper Bowl, which I really like a lot. Okay, let's get going here with our R41 twist, which I do like. Wish they made more two-piece razors. The R41 certainly does have some blade feel. I have never found it to be particularly threatening, even the old version. Um, some people do. I think sometimes the, the teeth, if you put pressure, if you're using pressure, the teeth might um, make it feel a little uncomfortable. And I think some people maybe use a little pressure and, and those teeth make it feel more blade filly and efficient than it is, or aggressive, I should say. But it is a good razor. And this is one where, you know, it's certainly efficient, it's not at the top of the heap anymore as it once was, the old version at least, but it's still quite a good and efficient razor and I enjoy using it. You definitely can feel the uh, blade doing its work, but for me at least, it's not menacing for some people. 
it might be. And it's all a matter of preference when it comes down to it. You know, use those razors that you enjoy and uh, get the most out of them. And again, it re rinses, you know, very cleanly, even though there's really not a, there's no rinse, well, there is rinse, rinse port there, but most of my rinsing is coming straight out the sides. So again, I want to mention what I mentioned yesterday. I like to reiterate um, tips for people to try to be helpful. If your lather is well hydrated, it should rinse very easily from the razor. If you find it sticking, um, you probably need more hydration. All right. Very nice first pass there. Very nice indeed. And again, today we're going to go with two passes. We've been enjoying the, the uh, two pass shaves. Um, saves me a little time. And also I've been getting great results from it. And I expect today since the the R41 is an efficient razor. The two passes will be fine. Actually, it's two passes and a, just a little bit of cleanup because I've been doing one sort of across the grain on my cheeks with residual slickness. So it's like two plus, <laughs> you know, not not exactly two, but sort of close to that. Very nice lather here. The soap is quite slick, no problems whatsoever. If you've ever tried turtle strip, Give it a shot, as you can see here, it doesn't have any problem holding water. Nice and creamy, smells, again, a very pleasant, lightly scented lime soap. Very nice, paints on beautifully, with no problem whatsoever. Excellent, feels good on the face. You know, no burning or anything like that. No fragrance issues or anything like that. Just overall quite a pleasant soap to use. And again, I love lime, you know, and so most limes are winning scents for me, especially in the summertime. Although you know me, I'll use a lime anytime. I, I don't, uh, I'm not beholden to seasons or, or even what people think about scents. Like, oh, that scent's too foody or fruity or whatever. If I like it, I'll use it. And I advise you to do the same, just enjoy yourself. I know some guys will say, um, oh, I got this soap, but my wife didn't like it. And I always say, well, she doesn't have to wear it. So maybe in those cases, you know, if you're going to work or something, put it on before you're going to work and you can enjoy it while you're at work and she doesn't have to be bothered by it, you know, that sort of thing. She definitely doesn't have to wear it. So, you know, you can probably find an opportunity to use it, I am careful about um, certain scents because it can flare up my wife's asthma. What I do is try to use it either when she's not here or I'll use it in a way that doesn't affect her. So that's something to consider. If you really love a scent, you could probably find a way to use it if you really want to. All right, let's do our little sort of half pass here and just go across on the cheeks because we've already done the against the grain Pass, and again, for new folks, don't do this. We're, <laughs> you know, shaving on residual slickness because your lather when you're starting out may not be up to snuff and you may not have great residual slickness. So I advise you to only shave the areas where there's visible soap or cream. But as time goes on, you will, uh, you will realize what you can and cannot do. And you can sort of go over some of those areas and it'll be fine. But when you're starting out, limit the area to area where there's soap. So don't be going over it continually like I am right there on my neck. And again, I mentioned those things from time to time because there are new viewers that uh, come to the channel every day and we don't wanna lead anybody astray and cause them problems out of the gate because it's often a tough transition to come from uh, parts or electric razors to the style of shaving. And it does require some, it requires a few weeks for your skin to adjust. And the first few weeks can be challenging. And so if you're continually shaving over areas with no soap, the, the likelihood of irritation is more early on because your, la your lather when you first start out is, is often not as good as it will be, you know, say a few months down the road. Once you sort of get the hang of it and you realize, uh, you know, 
how to get that hydration in your lather in a way that it leaves the residual slickness that I'm shaving on, it's fine. But until that point, I advise you to steer clear of doing what I'm doing right, <laughs> right now. But for me, it's working just fine. And I do like the Nasset blade in the R41 twist here. Feeling quite good. And let's just do a little bit of cleanup. So I say I'm doing only two passes, but really, as you can see, by the time I've gone over <laughs> my entire face on residual slickness, it's more like three. I only did two lathering passes. Most That's probably uh, more realistic. All right. Boy, everything was excellent today. Let me rinse, then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off camera. We did a warm water rinse, removed the soap, and then we applied our PAA alum, no stinging. So that was a super smooth shave. Following the alum, alum excuse me, we did a cold water rinse, and then we toweled off with our Lancaster towel. And I believe there's a Lancaster drop coming this Saturday. Follow Lancaster Razor Works on Instagram for information on that. And of course, after we toweled off, we used our Thayer's. This is cucumber. A witch hazel magic because it's made by witches i had an excellent shave today the old turtle ship lime treated me well it's been a long time since i've used it but i enjoyed it it was very nice indeed gave me everything i needed no problem the mighty r41 twist did its job too efficient razor not menacingly so but it is efficient um just be mindful of those teeth if you press down it will feel more aggressive than it is in my opinion but really nice razor uh what oh captain's choice bowl <laughs> We almost forgot our turn and shave brush, and we're gonna finish things out today with the Seaforth Sea Spiced Lime uh, Toner, and then we'll apply another couple of bursts of the EDP before we go out the door, because man, this is beautiful stuff. Oh yeah, ooh, 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 ooh. I love this. When people say it smells like 7-Up or Sprite, I do get it in that you get the lime, but it's much more than that. Oh man, I love this stuff. Still great stuff. Still my uh, my favorite scent so far of 2021, the old Seaforth Sea Spice Lime. I love it. All right. Thanks so much for joining me. Until next time, I hope you have great shaves. And I'm reminding you, I've been your host, CDB. It's your shave. Do it your way. And as always, God bless.